Um, honestly, I thought that um, the commissioner was just going to come in and talk to our kids about, you know, her retiring and our next moves for education and moving forward and how they impact our future. Um, that's really, that's really what I thought. I just told the kids, be really good. We're going to have a great assembly and we're going to talk about education and why it's important. Uh, when I heard my name, I thought I heard wrong because my husband constantly is like, are you deaf? But then my students tell me I hear everything. So it's like, Leah Lawrence. And I looked around and I looked at one of my teacher friends and she looks at me and she's tearing up and I'm like, I look at my kids and they're all pointing to me and I'm like, oh my, it's me right now. And I just kind of, just kind of froze. I teach because honestly, um, that's all I know. I, I, from a young age, I, I always taught my little brother and we played school together and all those things. And then as I got older, I had so many people that inspired me to continue um, doing that through how they taught me. Teachers have been wonderful um, and have inspired me and in taking that role in classes also to teach other kids that I was in class with. And so that developed a love. But I think more than anything, I teach because of my grandma. My grandma was um, a teacher here in the St. Charles School District. And I, I promise, like you probably know someone she's taught. Um, my first interview, when I was trying to become a teacher, um, I was explaining I became a teacher because mostly because of my grandma and the impact that she's had and seeing people run up to her that were adults when I was a little kid saying, Mrs. Henrik, and she had them in, you know, third and fourth grade. And so, um, ironically, in that interview, the principal was like, does her license plate still say ILAC? And it stands for I love all children. And I was like, yeah, it does. She's like, my sister had Miss Henrik and I was so jealous. And I'm like, holy cow, like that kind of reach to know like as an elementary teacher, you can have that kind of reach for adults, like for years and years and years to come, decades, you know, um, I wanted to be that to someone. So as an educator, uh, student-led learning is vital because I already know the material. So I, have, I think it's important that I teach it, but it's also important for them to be able to teach each other and teach themselves and pro like keep track, of the, keep track of their progress because as they get older, they're not necessarily gonna have these cheerleaders, these teachers behind them pushing them to be the best they can. So they need to be able to track their own progress and be their own kind of cheerleader. So a lot of times within my classroom, um, just if we're teaching, if I'm teaching something new, we'll start off by, yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you it, we're gonna talk about it together, then you're, we're gonna do it together, you're gonna to do it with a partner, and then you're gonna do it on your own. And after you do it on your own, we're gonna turn and talk, how did it go? We're gonna reflect, we're gonna be very open because learning is all about making mistakes and being able to learn from those mistakes and move on. Um, another thing that I love to do with my class is we do challenges. So I just, recently we've been reviewing like how to restate a question and respond and then use text evidence and things like that. So um, my students, I bribe them too. So some of that, award money will probably go towards bribery of my kids, but I'll ask a question, they'll answer it, and then I'll say, what did they do great? And I'll be like, ooh, does anybody want to challenge that? And then afterwards, we discuss who won the challenge, who did it the best, and then we reflect on why. It's not bad if you don't win the challenge, it's just a learning opportunity. Like, we said it this way, how could we do it even better next time? So I really think it's modeling that it's okay to make mistakes and keeping track of our progress and always shooting to be better. This year, uh, I was a little nervous because I was dating two new teachers, new to us. Um, one teacher was a brand new teacher, and then one teacher is a teacher with uh, about six years of experience, but she was new for my team from seventh grade ELA. I was nervous because you always want to make sure they like you and that they want to stay and they like our school as well, but you also are nervous with excited anticipation because I was excited to learn from them. And so um, I think it's really important when we have new teachers to first do whatever we can do, shower them with, with whatever they need, whatever resources they need, have those really honest conversations, um, admit when you mess up, much like what you do with your students, but also recognize and ask their opinions because the way I've always done it is not the best way to do it. And so I have to be able to model that I'm learning and growing too, just as they are as a new teacher. Like now, I mean, I've been a teacher for many, many years. and. I'm still learning every single day. And it's important to model that to other teachers, new people new in the profession, and then also our students. Hi, I'm Leah Lawrence. I'm a seventh grade English language arts teacher at Hardin Middle School in St. Charles, Missouri, and I am a Milken educator.